Our correspondents bring you this from Van. The concrete wall snakes through the mountains. On these rocky roads, patrols are stepping up to protect the border. 500 kilometers separate Turkey from Iran. This wall is 150 kilometers long, and Ankara wants to build another 50 by the end of the year. Wearing helmets and carrying guns, these policemen pose before cameras that have been invited to film this border post. Turkey wants the world to know it will let no one through, despite the non-cooperation of Iranian authorities. The EU will not be able to count on Ankara to send back Afghan migrants who somehow make it to Europe. But Turkey also wants to send a message to its own citizens, who fear another wave of refugees so soon after the massive arrival of Syrians in the country. As a Muslim nation, we must do everything in our power. But there are already many Afghans and especially a lot of Syrians who have come here. Our youth is unemployed, and finding work is getting even harder, ever since the economy has gotten worse. I believe our country has already welcomed enough Afghan refugees. From now on, European or Middle Eastern countries should be the ones to take them in. These are the men and women Turks do not want on their soil. Van's detention center is one of 25 of its kind in Turkey. It was built in 2017 after the agreement on migration passed with the European Union. Other centers are being built as we speak. We haven't reached full capacity yet. As you know, the discussions with Afghanistan are ongoing. And when the government is set up, we will restart the repatriations. Going back to Afghanistan is the worst-case scenario for this mother. If we go back, we'll be in the hands of the Taliban. This family arrived August 15th, the day Kabul was taken back by the Taliban. Like the others held between these walls, they are fleeing poverty, fighting, and the lashes of the new masters of Afghanistan. If we go back, we'll be killed. It's 100 percent certain, because we're Shiites. Since the Taliban entered the Afghan capital, an increasing number of civilians are walking through Iran. The crossing takes a month. Even as Turkey reports a fall in the number of migrants arriving compared to this time last year, a fresh wave is expected in the next few days.